Hi, everyone. We are Abigail and Ada. We are the creators of Dev and Think for Historians, which is a set of courses that watch, walks you through the key features of Dev and Think, uh, as well as shares like tips and tricks and scripts to help you save time while using Dev and Think, which is a really powerful database software um, that I use and many others use for historical research. Today, we are, are departing from our um, DOTS Dev and Think database series to bring you a really cool uh, script tip. Um, yes. So uh, last, last week on the 5th, yeah. um, if that was last week, uh, Dev and Think uh, pushed out um, an update with two new scripts in it. Um, and uh, while both are interesting, um, one in particular really grabbed our attention, yeah. um, and that is the graph view script. Um, we really want to uh, thank the D, uh, the Dev and Think user who created it, um, uh, Benoit Pointet. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but we are really grateful uh, yeah. to them for sharing this script with the community. Um, so what it does is create a network map that shows the connections between documents um, or files. Um, and if that's word salad to you, have no fear. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna take you um, into Dev and Think and and show you exactly what that means. Yes, but before we walk through the example, um, we wanted to let you know that you can find more information about this script on the Devon and Technologies blog and on the Devon Think uh, discourse um, uh, pages and in GitHub. And all of those links are in the description. So you can learn more if you want to deep dive and um, learn more about the scripts. And then also, I know when we were going through it, I found it was very interesting how long people in the community have been working on the script and it's amazing how how many people came together to make it a reality so um, you get to learn more about the history of the script and how some people are using it so um, again th those links are in the description uh, so wh what we're going to do for the rest of this video is um, Abigail is going to share her screen and then we'll talk you through how to install the script and how to use it via an example. Um, and then we'll talk about different questions that we had, um, questions we might have for you on how you might want to use the script, and we'll wrap up from there. Yep, exactly. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Yes, let's do it. All righty. So. Uh, here we are in Devon Think. Um, you can see uh, we're using my uh, dots Devon Think database uh, as oh. our example database today. <laughs> so um, as uh, we've sort of shown before, but for mm -hmm. those who are new here, um, if you look in the left um, panel at the top, there are these icons. This three dot like ellipsis icon um, is where you can find these scripts under uh, scripts. If, uh, oops, sorry, no, um, I thought, ignore that. Pretend I didn't. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's under scripts. That's all you need to know. Um, and it's this one, Graph View. So this was the other one we mentioned, Open Clean Workspace, that is new and might be of interest to people. Um, but um, for Graph View, to add it to your Dev and Think database, all you have to do is click on this link. That's it. And that goes for any of these scripts if you want to add them. Yeah. Um, all you have to do is click. And then uh, it'll seem like nothing has happened. But if you go up to the top, and you click on this little script icon, um, you'll see it appears down here in graph view. If you want to move it to one of these folders, all you'll have to do is, is hit open scripts folder and then just drag it into whichever one you feel like it best fits in. Um, but that's yeah. really quite simply it. Um, yeah. Should we show an example? Oops, sorry. Yes, let's. But, but as you're as you're getting ready to do that, I think we mentioned it in a previous video. I remember, but there are lots of really cool scripts in that list. And if you're ever with a free moment, it's kind of hard nowadays. But if you ever do have a free moment, you can scroll through and see if there's ooh, you know, something that might save you some time. Yeah, totally. Um, there are. Uh, I have lost um, many many a minute. Uh, in productive procrastination going through that <laughs> list. 
So, all right. Hopefully you um, saved all those minutes back with the efficient scripts that you downloaded. That's the mm, Yes. <laughs> yes, that's what I like to think. Yeah. Uh, so I want to create a uh, visualization of everything in my galleries and museums folder. So what I'm going to do is open that up. You can see there's a couple of subfolders in it, um, but I'm just going to hit select all. That will select everything because um, this only works if you're comparing one or sorry, two or more documents together. If there's only one or fewer documents, there is nothing connected. There's nothing to graph, there's right? Exactly. Nothing to graph. So it's quite simple. All you're going to do is go back up to your uh, scripts icon, come back down, click graph view, and it's going to open a selection panel. And um, not only does this allow you to select which relationships you want to graph, but it's also kind of the, the legend, if you will, um, to interpret the graph once it opens. So you'll, you'll see that anything that shows up in Cyan, um, for those who are not native English speakers or who are unfamiliar with uh, Cyan, that's a kind of a bright blue color. Yes. Um, then um, the uh, Devon Think item links in URL will show up as green, wiki links from content show up as pink, and um, Devon Think item links from content are purple. Yes. You can, you know, toggle these on and off uh, as you desire, and then all you have to do is click OK. Yes. So in the graph, each document will be a node. That's how people describe it in, in graph theory or these dots. And then what we're referred to as edges are the lines that connect nodes or these dots. So that's now you can see a visualization of your fabulous uh, documents that you selected. So I, you can see that there's the dots exhibit clippings and dots exhibits can I know that hopefully everyone watching us has been following our fabulous dot series and knows what all this means, but could you give us a little bit of context just in yeah. case? I'm, it is dawning on me that perhaps <laughs> graph visualization with literal D-O-T-S is, <laughs> is, is just maybe, <laughs> maybe a pedagogical fail. Perhaps. Um, D-A-T-Z dots yeah. is the name of a painter who I'm currently researching. Yeah. So um, this blue node, mm -hmm. the D-O-T-S, <laughs> uh, sorry, D-O-T, uh, singular, uh, yeah. is the subfolder that contains all of the newspaper clippings uh, over something like 40 years nice. um, for the exhibits of the painter DATZ dots. <laughs> um, <laughs> here you'll see um, I, the subfolder about Dorothy Paris and the subfolder about the new art circle gallery. Yeah, <laughs> both of which only have two documents each within them, and neither of those documents are connected to each other. Yes, or via any other. form of link. Right, or or to the other items in the. So Correct. Right. Yes. Thank you. Now, this dot <laughs> is actually to a rich text document. You look up in this um, top right corner here, you'll see I can um, reveal it and you will see it is a list I have created of all of these um, different exhibits over the years. And I've linked um, with the um, um, Devon Think link feature, yes. the content links that Devon Think generates. Um, I've linked to each of the clippings, the newspaper clippings about them. So for a lot of them, that's only one. Um, but for example, like here about the um, Whitney uh, second biennial exhibition, 
um, there are two different articles uh, that were published about this exhibit that mention dots in it. Right. So um, to go back to the um, to the graph visualization. Um, so what this is showing, this node, is that all of these articles are mentioned in that exhibit um, list, that rich text file. Now you can see, sorry, what, Ada? You should be a bit more specific, not just mentioned, but actually linked to. You can't type in the name. You have to yes. physically link them with the Dev and Think item link. Yes, thank you. No problem. Good clarification. So you'll notice that there are a few then that are not uh, included in that rich text file. Um, just to zoom in a little bit, this is a really good way to identify if um, there are things that are supposed to be in that file right. that I forgot. Yes. Um, for a lot of these, the answer is no. So if I click on this one, um, this is a just an article about uh, a very a, a gallery at which dots showed with great frequency in the 1930s. Um, that it just it closed for a little renovation. Um, it's not advertising a an exhibit, um, but I felt like it was relevant and I wanted to keep it, and that this folder was the most logical place for it to live, but it didn't bear mentioning in my timeline of exhibits. So I know why that's not linked, um, but um, I did go through some of these and say, huh, you know, why isn't that linked? And it was a good way for me to sort of cross-reference and understand for each of these why I did not include them in the master timeline. Right. But I could very much imagine that if I had just, it, you know, it was an oversight on my part, it would have been, this would have been a nice way to catch an issue. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I think that is all I have to say about um, the explaining this graph. Um, I'm going to just quickly share my thoughts about the utility of this. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it's great. I'd love to hear them. <laughs> no, I I didn't know if, if there was anything I had left out. Um, no, I think I think we covered I think we covered off everything that we wanted to share. Cool. Okay. So as useful as this is um, to show that there are uh, a lot of links in this one document, I created this document and I inserted all of those links. I created the meaning. I created the connections. You did. Um, and so what it is not showing me is connections that I haven't already seen or created. Um, this is not able to search through content to find um, associations mm -hmm. or relevance in and of itself. Um, it, it is only a way to visualize associations you've already made. Now, the further one gets into a project uh, and the more content one has read over and is parsing through, the more valuable this might be. I just worked through this set of documents. It's a small database right now. Um, and so it, I think it's possible that I'm just not seeing a lot of different applications um, mm -hmm. that would make this script really useful for people. And so that's kind of my question to viewers. How would you use this? Like I, um, I would love if you have a larger, like a more advanced project um, with a larger database and you try this out, what are you able to glean that you wouldn't have identified simply, uh, sorry, without a visual? Um, so yeah. like simply with the text um, 
I, well, yeah, I'd, I'd love to see like screenshots and examples if people want to send them to our email. Um, yeah. Look, we can leave that in the description bar as well. I, I love visualization. I often mind map and outline while I'm writing when I get stuck. Uh, I, I, I know a lot of our viewers love Zettelkasten and other sort of visual organization methods. Um, so I am very much, ex, you know, um, showing my appreciation for this form and also acknowledging my own limitations that I, you know, between my projects, my needs and the way I think, I don't, I don't think I've grasped the full range of possibilities of this script. So uh, I thought we could use this as a moment to kind of, as a community, help each other out. Yeah, I love that. I love the question. I'm also super curious to what people will find. I'm, I'm curious also for people that may work in databases differently than how you are individually working in the DAS database. I know we've spoken to some people that have uh, purchased our courses that work in groups. So I'm really curious if you're working with a team of people, this tool might be really cool. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also interested to see how someone might use it with a, with a smart group because the smart group is kind of doing things behind the scenes. And you, you know, when you look at the smart group, it's still this massive list of documents. So maybe this gives you another take on it, another visualization um, that can help you understand maybe, oh, wow, like I didn't realize I was using these tags in this way or whatever you, your, your smart group is doing. So um, yeah, I, I, I think both of us were like, oh, this is cool. <laughs> um, and, and we're like, okay, we want to make a video on it. Um, but yeah, I think asking everyone to share uh, how you use it. Um, if maybe you're like, oh my gosh, I love it. It's changed my, changed my world. Or maybe it's like, yeah, it might not work for my day to day. So let us know. Um, yeah, the email address will be in, um, in the description box of, with all those other links we mentioned earlier. So you can do a deep dive if you're curious. Um, but yeah, so anything else you'd like to add? No, I think that's it. Let's it, well, uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed uh, recording it. Always a pleasure to chat with you, Abigail. Um, so please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel if you did enjoy this video. Um, and if you do subscribe, you'll be notified when we release new videos, which is always fun. And we really appreciate you watching. So hope to see you next time. Thanks. Bye.